Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my favorite tools uh, when I'm fixing different things, which is this steel stick. This is a steel reinforced uh, epoxy putty and actually it, it's just amazing when it comes to working with aluminum, steel, iron and other things. This is a great tool if you're doing some rust repair. Uh, and I'm going to share with you a few examples of different projects that I've done. Uh, basically, you have this little tube and inside you will have the epoxy uh, putty. So all you're going to need to do is pretty much cut up as much as you're going to need for your project. Then you're going to mix it um, again using gloves to make sure that it's all uniform and you're pretty much making all of its uh, ingredients um, blend. Um, and then you can apply it to whatever uh, project you are working on. You will have a limited amount of time to do this application. So usually about three minutes probably. And then after that, it'll start getting hard, um, you know, fairly quickly. Again, this is a great, great tool. I've used it for uh, lawn chairs and then just a, a different, a, a number of different other projects, always with uh, great results. You can sand it um, after it's dried out or, and, and uh, cured, and then you can spray paint it. So literally, uh, if you're doing a pretty good job in sanding, you may not be able to even tell that this metal part was rusted or you know corroded or anything else uh, after you've done this fix. So uh, let me go ahead and show you how this works, how I've used it, and as well as highlight a couple of different projects um that in which i've used this uh very product this is also made in the united states so let me go ahead and share with you a few projects and kind of how how to use this this is an aluminum lawn chair that i had that had a broken arm so again first thing i do is grab the steel stick get the putty and then i'm going to make sure that i'm cutting the right amount for the project in this case i'm cutting a little bit extra because i had a few different spots that i had to fix on this lawn chair uh, very easy so you just cut this part and then make sure that you mix it very thoroughly and that you're using gloves as you're mixing this uh, basically you want to end up with a very uniform mix uh, so you can see how it looks once you have that you're ready to apply it so i'm going to go ahead and apply it to the aluminum lawn chair i'm pushing it a little bit hard because i wanted to go into the crack itself um, because I wanted to uh, bond or bind the two pieces together. Uh, so you can see I'm doing this, uh, you know, kind of very forceful pushing it into the crack. There's also a little bit on the side of the chair as well. Uh, the crack was almost all the way through. So in this specific case, um, I'm going to use a screwdriver to uh, pretty much shape the, the part. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use a sander in here to get in and take any excess so i'm trying to be very careful uh, with a screwdriver to make sure that i don't have too much uh, putty left in there then once you do that i just go in add a little bit extra uh, in a few spots where it kind of moved a little bit once it's all done and about an hour later you can go ahead and actually start sanding um, once it's all fully dry again it takes about an hour to fully uh, cure uh, so you can see in here, I'm just sanding it down um, and really kind of getting it down to as flat as I can. Uh, my goal is to pretty much take everything out and just leave the crack bond. You can see here how it looks. Now I'm going to do a quick layer of paint. I ended up painting the entire chair, obviously. And this is the end result. I think honestly, it looks really well. You can't really tell that this was a cracked chair once it's done. Here's another project, part of the chair. Again, it was aluminum. So it seems like something had fallen on it and bent the aluminum. So I'm gonna grab some of these steel stick and use it as a filler uh, for this chair. In this specific case, I need to make sure that I'm putting a little extra so that it, once I sand it down, it ends up looking flat. Now, one more than an hour later, I can go ahead and sand the piece down. And again, you wanna make sure that it is very flat and you can't tell. 
This is the end result. Once I sanded everything down, it looks like it's pretty flat and ready to be painted. And this is the end result. This is how it looks once it was painted. And again, this is the before and then here's the after. Great results. And then here's one more example. This is a very rusted long chair wheel. And you can see all those holes from all of the corrosion. So I went ahead, sanded everything down, use a steel stick. You can see it a little bit on the left side. Um, it looks a little different color. Once it was spray painted, you can't tell the difference. So again, this is a very amazing product. Uh, it works really well with multiple things. All right, and that's it. So thank you again, everybody, for watching. Again, if, if you, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description of the video. So if you can find this, um, this product, I've been getting mine, uh, it comes in like this, uh, in a pack from Amazon, it's a pack of three, um, very accessible pricing. Um, and again, it just works great in any kind of project that you're working on. So I'll make sure you uh, click the link in the description. And if you have any comments, please let me know. And until next time, thanks again for watching.